what happens in a glossopharyngeal nerve lesion what does it supply what are the aspects it takes care of a sensory and a special sensory along with parasympathetic and motor sensory it innervates the oropharynx carotid body and sinus posterior one third of tongue middle ear cavity and eustachian tube special sensory provides taste sensation to the posterior one third of tongue provides parasympathetic innervation to the parotid gland innervates the stylopharyngeus muscle of the pharynx as i told you only muscle it supplies is stylopharyngeus what does vagus nerve have sensory special sensory motor and parasympathetic parasympathetic is very important it controls the heart rhythm and smooth muscles of the trachea bronchi and g8 sensory it innervates the skin of the external acoustic meatus provides visceral sensation to the heart heart and abdominal viscera taste sensation to the epiglottis and root of the tongue vagus nerve motor innervation to muscles of pharynx pharynx soft palate and larynx so we'll discuss with a case scenario a 60 year old male chronic smoker known hypertensive diabetic for 20 years on irregular medication one day when patient was having tea getting up from bed he experienced cough and regurgitation through the nose he ignored this and was doing his routine work also he had some difficulty in swallowing food and some speech difficulty speech output was slow he is a known diabetic and hypertensive for 20 years history of recurrent cough on taking oral feeds hiccups and very important he had numbness and difficulty in appreciating the cloth sensation on the right side of the body and not able to feel the heat while holding the tea cup with the right hand he could not feel the hot water sensation on the left side of the face right side sensation and left side facial sensation along with lower cranial nerve palsy regurgitation voice type output is affected family members notice that he is dragging the legs towards the left side on walking he is dragging to the left side also had a sensation of giddiness with some ataxia wife notice asymmetry in the eyes one eye is normally closed one eye is not open one eye is not fully open that's what is the asymmetry the wife noted past history history of fall 3 years back associated with lvc for 5 minutes very significant loss of consciousness but he did not seek medical attention for the same he did not seek medical attention for the same what are the structures involved it's so very easy first is 9 10 cranial nerves very easy right side spinothalamic tract the patient is not having feeling the sensation and not feeling the hot sense in the when holding a tea cup left side trigeminal nerve very important trigeminal tract that is pain he is not hot sensation is not felt in the left side of the face left side cerebellar pathway because he has dragging the feet to one side left side oculo sympathetic pathway why i am stressing on this is this wife has recently noticed asymmetry in the opening of eyes probably the patient could be having harness left side was incompletely closed not fully open that's what is the complaint probably the patient has a left side harness so 9 10 cranial nerves spinothalamic tract left side trigeminal tract left side cerebellar pathway with oculo sympathetic path probable harness easy to diagnose that is mostly it is a lateral medullary syndrome carotid was felt equally pickle was normal everything higher mental functions were normal cranial nerve 1 to 8 is normal left eye as i told you he had all features of horner syndrome partial ptosis enophthalmos meiosis loss of ciliospinal reflex anhydrosis this partial ptosis other is called pseudotosis what is involved in horner's is 
the mullous muscle, sympathetic muscle. 